My name is Kelly, welcome to my channel. So the topic of this video is going to be finding positivity in a healthy lifestyle. Now this video is not something that I planned on doing originally, it was not on my original topic list, but it's just something that's been on my heart for the last couple of days, so I thought that I would share it with you. Um, I tend to see a lot of negativity tied to healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle, um, especially on social media. Um, you know, that healthy eating is, you know, boring or that it's depriving in some way or that you're missing out on life somehow if, um, if you're a health nut. Um, and, you know, for those of us that have health issues that, um, you know, cause us to live a certain lifestyle or prevent us from eating certain foods, you know, we can, we can tend to be bitter or negative about it sometimes and just always focus on what we can't have. Um, and, you know, I hear people say that, you know, a healthy lifestyle is too difficult or it's too time consuming and, you know, it's easier to just go through the drive through or open up a bag of Doritos, you know. And I have certainly had my moments of negativity over the years um, and I'm still not perfect in this area at all. I am not positive 100% of the time, <laughs> I will tell you that, but... I, it is true that I have had some personal growth in this area over the years, so I just wanted to share with you what I've learned so that we can encourage each other. Um, first of all, I want to tell you that the number one thing that has changed my heart and my mind in every area of my life, including this one, is my spiritual growth in Christ. Um, I have plenty of reasons scripturally to believe that my body is not my own. It is a temple of the Holy Spirit and that the Lord desires for me to care for my physical body in a way that his son can be glorified in everything that I say and do. And, um, you know, that should be motivation, you know, enough in itself as a Christian. And, you know, people comment all the time on, my transformation over the last eight months and um, yes there's been a huge physical transformation but you guys I will tell you it is more spiritual than you even realize. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 31 says so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do it all for the glory of God. So as Christians we should be seeking to honor and glorify God in every single thing that we do including what we eat and the way that we take care of ourselves. Um, it is a joy to me to be able to serve and honor and glorify God in my life um, and be a good witness for him by having a strong, healthy, energetic body and a clear and focused mind. Um, so, yes, finding, finding joy and honoring and serving Him has, has been a huge motivation for me. So, secondly, instead of focusing on everything that you can't eat or that you can't do, you know, I encourage you to focus on all of the wonderful things that you can eat. I promise you, once you clear your palate of all those junk foods, healthy food is going to taste so much better. You guys, I love eating. I do. I love food. And, um... You know, I love all the foods that I am able to eat, and I try to eat them with a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving. Um, and there are, you know, several foods, several healthy foods that I am allergic to and I'm not able to eat. And, you know, for a time I was down about that. I was like, oh, well, I'll give up, you know, anything unhealthy, but I hate that I have to give up these healthy foods. I shouldn't be allergic to any healthy foods. But, um, you know, I just, again, chose to focus on the you know, huge variety of healthy things that I can eat and um, eating them with a heart of gratitude and that is what has helped me change my perspective on that. So, you know, also just rejoice in the fact that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and that God has given you all of the foods that you need to live an abundant and healthy life. Um, he has given you everything that you need here on earth. And the foods that he gave us in their whole unaltered form were created to work in synergy with every single cell of your body. Um, so just focus on what a privilege it is to be able to nourish every cell of your body, you know, during each one of your meals and to care for the body that God has created for you. 
And, you know, the more that I study human health and nutrition, the more I just stand in awe of the intelligence and complexity of our creator. And I thank him for making me the way that he did. And, you know, if you guys are at a party, a, you know, birthday party or something, and you're the only one there not eating the birthday cake, um, you know, just think about how good your body is going to feel when you leave that party. You might be the one, the only one to leave that party, you know, feeling, you know, physically better than anyone else that leaves there. And, you know, focus on how good your body is going to feel over the next couple days when you don't have to detox off of the gluten and the sugar and the dyes in that cake. You know, there's just, there's a lot of things to be um, positive and thankful for. So I get messages from people all the time on a daily basis that are going through some type of health crisis um, that is drawing them toward a healthier lifestyle. And they're sick, they're scared, they don't know where to turn. And, you know, if this sounds like something that you're going through, then my heart goes out to you because I've been there in my own health and also with being in the trenches with uh, my husband's own health struggles. So I just want to share a personal story with you that I hope might be an encouragement to you in some way. About a year and a half ago, my husband was so sick. Um... No one had an answer for us. No doctor had a diagnosis. His health was deteriorating so quickly that I would lay awake at night crying because I didn't know if my husband would be alive in a few years. Um, now, I chose to lean into God during this time. And you guys would not even believe it if I told you how much the Lord taught me through that experience. He used it as um, a time of very rapid sanctification for me. And, you know, we are in such a better place now than we were, and I will share his full health story with you sometime soon. But what I want to tell you from that experience is this, that if you are in Christ, you guys do not have to fear the storms of life. Um, we have been through some dark moments, but I can say this honestly, that because of everything that the Lord taught me during that time, that I would not take back any of those moments. Um, here's why, you guys. I'm going to read to you from Romans 5, 3. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. So because of um, what the Lord taught me through each suffering, hardship, and health trial that we have been through, um, you know, he used them as sanctifying and disciplining experiences for us um, to draw us closer to him. And he also taught us things through those times that we are now able to use to bless others and to help them with what, what they're going through. Um, so I want to read to you from Hebrews 12, 11. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. And we submitted to the Lord and we allowed him to train us during that time and he produced a harvest of peace and righteousness in our lives. So, you know, these are the times that I think about when, you know, I am in the trenches with, um, with our lifestyle and, you know, if I'm at a point where I'm stressed out, um, you know, let's use this for an example. When, you know, when I'm in the kitchen frequently every day, day in and day out, cooking every single meal and every single snack for my husband, um, to accommodate his food allergies and to keep his immune system strong, um, I could use that as an opportunity to grumble, complain, to be bitter. Um, because let me tell you, I work hard um, to keep my husband's health on track and to keep my health on track. Um, but instead, I choose to see those moments as blessings um, and a joy because I um, they mean that I have a healthy husband in my home, um, that I get to um, that I get to love and to serve sacrificially. Because there was a point for months when I could hardly get him to eat anything. I was getting these little 
um, like old person meal place replacement powders just to get a little bit of calories and nutrition in him because he could hardly eat. And now the man eats everything that I put in front of him and he has a huge appetite and he's so much healthier now. And so instead of grumbling and complaining, I choose to see that as a joy and a blessing and, um, I can use it as an opportunity to give thanks to God um, that I also have a healthy body that I can use to serve others. So I'll leave you with this one last thought um, that whatever I have sacrificed and invested into this lifestyle, I have seen a huge return on that investment and it has been worth every last bit of myself that I've poured into it. Um, you guys, everything good in this life is worth fighting for. So be blessed in Jesus' name.